Hi, I, I have a, a nice virtual friend who complains uh, a lot because I do some cooking videos sometimes. I get requests for them actually. And um, I'm here out just outside of Paris, France and I don't edit, I don't provide links and <coughs> excuse me he just goes nuts because I don't provide the uh, so you can see how the finished product is now Ian we don't have fresh celery yet and you've got to have that for this salad but this salad is ready and it's sitting I'm going to take the spoon out and put a plate over it and I've got another clip up about these kron which are Chinese artichokes and they're called kron because um, they were first introduced to France in the 19th century and cultivated in Ile de France which is Greater Paris uh, in kron so people just call them that uh, you boil uh, some potatoes and I put up another clip showing the Asiatic food and I actually listed the correct amounts for the ingredients for this and the order in which you do things you know you the the these are called Chinese artichokes but they're really not they're little tubers they're like topi nambur which are also called Jerusalem artichokes and again they're not artichokes and um, uh, you, you have to like wipe them down vigorously with a wet tea towel and maybe scrub them with a vegetable brush but when they're light in color yeah, they don't last long they dry up uh, they're, they're good they're good to go you just have to clean them and you cook them, you boil them for 20 short minutes with a spoonful of flour. I don't know why you're supposed to put the flour in there. And you cool the potatoes, put a little bit of white wine over it, over them, sliced. And these green things here, this, is one of these totally weird... Asiatic green beans. Uh, where are these from? Cambodia? Oh, Thailand. These are Thai. Okay, these are very weird looking to me. I mean, I, I'm American and French, but, you know, they're all ribbly and stuff. And so I just find them weird. So I boiled them with the potatoes, just three of them, and I sliced them up. That was my own addition. And this is still that Eringo, which is perhaps a bit like sorrel. And I think that's called osai in French. And I, I put that in too, which was my own addition. And this has some coarse salt, some freshly ground pepper, the cooked, cooled, drained um, Chinese artichokes, this is just a little bit of red mild pepper that was in here from a previous potato salad I did this afternoon for lunch. And um, freshly ground pepper and some of this green weirdness, this er ergo, ergi stuff. I don't know what that is. So I've got to add some fresh sliced <coughs> celery tomorrow this uh, tomorrow even a little bit of the leaves and there's some rice wine vinegar in here you're supposed to use cooking sherry I didn't have any so I used some rice wine vinegar and some olive oil and that's about it uh, Kron are very expensive which is why I've never made this before so there you go sorry Ian again you're not getting uh, the the whole steps of this but I'm explaining how it's done. And it does, I, I can tell, it already tastes very, very nice. And this is one of the few Parisian dishes I know. I only know this and Blanquette de Veau as being a true Parisian dish. All the other things that people think are, are Parisian dishes are really just 
things to dupe the tourists. There isn't that much stuff that actually comes from Paris. Okay, see you later.